Hello everybody and welcome to the official look through for the dev diary for Jurassic World Evolution 2 that just came out. Now this is probably coming up the next day, if not then you guys are super lucky. But today we're going to be looking at the first official development diary for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now just to say, there was a lot of things in this compared to what I was expecting. I thought there was going to be like... Just an update of what we already knew with maybe one or two things, but no, we got a lot more. Such as some new species, new looks at the um, animations for dinosaurs, the um, guest needs, including this new um, scientist um, issue that has been discussed recently, which we'll get into all of that. But first, I want to talk about all the new species that have been confirmed. So we've gotten to see ones like T-Rex, Velociraptor, Brachiosaurus, few times triceratops all those things but we gotten a lot more um returning dinosaurs like all these new ones that are confirmed to be in this game are all returning dinosaurs such as diplodocus corythosaurus chasmosaurus pachycephalosaurus draco rex taurosaurus albertosaurus and nigosaurus now they all are the exact same models as in the first game so there's nothing really different from that except for different skins obviously but it's awesome to see all these new dinosaurs and some of them show some interesting things including for example with the diplodocus we see them um, actually clinging to the brachiosaurus as if they're like sort of keeping them close to be safe from carnivores which is really nice and also one thing that we get to see the very first thing for dinosaurs is actually of the amargosaurus stamping its feet and roaring and this is interesting because in the image, in the shot that it shows, there is a shadow in the left corner. And also, if you look beyond the Amargosaurus, you see another one doing the exact same thing, which could be that they're um, trying to intimidate a carnivore, which, as I mentioned in the previous video with um, stamina and all that stuff, what could happen is if they run out of stamina, a dinosaur could either um, just give up and let themselves be killed, or stand and fight. And this could be what's happening here, because we obviously see there the shadow of something big, which could be a T-Rex, Indominus Rex, I don't know what. But they're obviously defending themselves against something big, which makes sense, because they wouldn't want to die. And it looks really good. They're just stamping their feet and being like... They're showing their um, aggressiveness and basically displaying their horns as you touch, you go after me, I'm going to impale you with these. And we get to see um, the fighting mechanics between herbivores for territory needs because we see um, with two triceratops, they um, start to smack their frills against each other, which could be just that one was getting too close to the other, but it's nice. We're seeing them as living animals this time instead of just walking around, doing one talk with each other, then going their way separate ways. And we also get to see something with the Triceratops and Stegosaurus, where the Stegosaurus and Triceratops meet up, then they um, start to fight, the Stegosaurus wipes out the um, Triceratops and doesn't do any damage because it just hits the frill. Triceratops wins the fight and continues to eat in its territory, and we see the Stegosaurus run off to find its own territory, which is really good. It's really good. They do use the same animations from the first game, for the fight but it still works for what it's supposed to be and if we um look at um another thing with dinosaurs well not dinosaurs we get two things we get um a look at the inside of one of the aviaries which we actually see two versions of we see the jurassic park evolution the jurassic park version that was in the first game actually which is for the desert one which makes sense because if you had a glass aviary in a desert that would be painful for the um pterosaurs because they'd be superheated and we get to see the glass dome one in the winter enclosure which we get to see the, a look at the pteranodon which um appears to have a different skin which is of a blue and red and also we get to see them actually swerve between trees and also land on top of a viewing vent that's in the aviary which is really nice and we get a quick glimpse of um an aquatic arena which you don't most people probably missed this, but I'll be showing you the image of it. And I missed it too on the first case, but I was reminded by Swerve. Thank you, Swerve. And wow, it does look pretty interesting. I, I hope we get to um, have them again in the lake and stuff as well. Otherwise, it's going to be really 
sort of like the same problem the aviary had in the first game, which was it was a fishbowl, a glorified fishbowl. So hopefully we don't get that, but we didn't get to see what was in the aquatic arena, unfortunately. It was it pro and judging from the size, actually, it probably wasn't a mosasaurus because it looks really small. But now on to the um. Oh yeah, one more thing for the dinosaurs is pack hunting. We get a glimpse of it with the Velociraptors as they run down a Stegosaurus, and also we see them once again killing goats, but it's the same animations from the um, first game, which is a little worrying. I hope they don't recycle every animation from the first game. I hope they have a lot more unique animations and stuff this time, but, well, we can only hope. And we don't get to see, like, them take down the Stegosaurus, but we do get to see them run down and, like, actually call to each other so it is looking quite promising and now on to the guests and all the human stuff so the first thing i want to talk about is the scientists which unlike with the first game where we had three groups we had science entertainment and security it looks like for the main people we will be having it's similar to planet zoo where we hire different scientists and different security and what will happen is if they get too worn out and you give them too many jobs, then they will actually start to sabotage you, which is going to be very interesting. Will they poison the dinosaurs? Release them? Please don't release them. I, that was the pain in the butt for the first game when Entertainment would release all the dinosaurs. Oh my god, I wanted to kill them. But it's very interesting to see. Like, So you'll be hiring them and like having to expand their levels. They'll all start at level zero, like as an incompetent, then like you work them up and then they'll be like head of staff or any of that stuff. So it's gonna be really good. We also get um, confirmation that Ian Malcolm and Claire Deering are being voiced by Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum, which we already knew about. We don't know if any other characters or actors are returning for the game, like BD Wong for Dr. Wu, which that one seems very likely. We probably will get him. Other ones we're not so sure about. Um, another thing we get to see is um, the scenery off the path, which we get to see a um, picnic table, I believe it is, on on the grass and stuff, which does leave me a little bit concerned, because it is cool we're getting the scenery stuff a lot more, thank God, but I'm worried that it's going to be not for the path, because we don't see any on the path whatsoever, so it could be that it's just for on the grass, which is understandable, but I hope we do get some that are on the path. Like, I, I just care about getting that Spinosaurus skeleton, you know, that's all I care about, the whole skeleton. But we get to see that it's pretty good, and we get a look again at the different guest groups and how they'll be working. Those are being general, adventure, nature, and luxury. And how it's going to work is like, say for an adventure um, group, enthusiasts what will happen is they'll go for something like say a t-rex and they'll be really happy there and what you'll have to do is um around that t-rex enclosure have buildings that like satisfy their needs more than someone like say a luxury who's like probably going to stay more around the hotels or the fancy dinosaurs or something like that um and then the final thing we actually have actually is um the tree and rock placement is a lot more enhanced. Like, from the first game, you could just um, rotate them and place them, and you could only place them a certain distance apart from each other and all that stuff. But now it seems like we'll be able to change the shape of them. Like, we'll be able to go up and down and also left and right instead of just um, around in a circle, which is gonna be really good. I think also we'll be able to lower and raise the rocks, which is going to be even more interesting. I wonder how dinosaurs will actually interact with those. Like, will you, if, say, have a river and stuff and there's a lot of rocks around one area, will you see the dinosaurs, like, will they um, go around there and then, like, see they can't get down to the water, then move around to where it's easier to drink? Or will they just clip through? I hope they, obviously, I'm hoping they don't clip through. But I am really excited about this guys there was a lot shown like we got a whole bunch of dinosaurs confirmed to be coming back with them all having the same models we get a look at the aviary a little glimpse of one of the aquatic arenas which wonder what else we'll get to see and if we'll see it too we'll probably 
get a species field guide for like something like Pteranodon or one of these species that we already have been confirmed, like maybe Diplodocus or something, or even Velociraptor since that was heavily shown. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Are you excited for this as much as I am? And what was the thing you're most excited for? For me, it's the everything to do with the dinosaurs, like the behavior changes, the territory, all that stuff, pack hunting. I'm excited for that. I don't really care for the guest stuff and all that. I'm not someone who cares about that. But if you are, well, you're going to be excited. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye